Attorneys for the man charged with murdering the Kaufman County District Attorney fought to keep testimony about bullets and shell casings out of his trial. Fox 4's Sean Rabb was in court as Eric Williams' attorneys laid out the case. Eric Williams shook hands with his attorney as he entered court for Friday's hearing. Present for the first time, Early Norville, appointed as Kaufman County DA after District Attorney Mike McClellan and wife Cynthia were gunned down at their home Easter weekend. The couple killed two months after first assistant DA Mark Hassey was murdered in a courthouse parking lot. Norville was a Kaufman County judge when the murders happened and was on the so-called hit list prosecutors said Williams had. And this is a ballistics e expert that you're challenging, is that right, Mr. Seymour? It is, Your Honor. Defense attorney Matthew Seymour filed a motion to block the testimony of DPS weapons expert James Jeffries. Jeffries has told prosecutors there is a link between 16 shell casings recovered from the crime scene at the McClellan home and a live 223 round found at a Siegelville storage unit with other items belonging to Eric Williams. What you were able to determine is that the live round from the storage unit was cycled through the same gun that ejected the 16 uh, spent shell casings at the McClellan scene, is that correct? That is correct. Williams' defense attorney, Matthew Seymour, argued there's no statistical basis for the science of determining what bullet came from what gun and that it was based on subjective observation. The uh, way Mr. Jeffries conducts his examination and the way other laboratories conduct their examination, which one is correct, which one has more bearing, which one has more, which one just simply has a greater degree of accuracy. Judge Mike Snipes in his ruling said ballistic evidence similar to this is admitted in courts, quote, throughout this great country all the time, end quote. So I'm going to permit the expert to testify and the objection to that testimony from you, Mr. Seymour, is denied. Now, Judge Snipes added, denied for now, leaving open the window of possibility that the defense could bring the argument back if perhaps they could find other ways to bolster their claim. Final hearing scheduled for next Thursday. Williams will stand trial for Cynthia McClellan's murder first. Opening arguments December 1st. Back to you. All right, Sean, thank you.